Um, there's a friend of mine, uh, Graphic, who's one who got me affiliated with like getting back on the social media side. And I, I want to bring him in. I hope you're okay with me bringing him in. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's a very close friend of mine and one of the biggest Raider advocates you could ever fucking meet. And uh, he's a huge fan of yours and he, he knows the history. And um, yeah, so. What's good with you guys, man? How you doing, my brothers? What's going on, bro? Ah, uh, man. Hey, this is this is a blessing, man. Just watching you guys talk, man. It's, it's it really is. Like, I'm I'm a I'm a diehard man since since birth, man. And to see you guys here talking, man, like those were my glory days growing up watching you guys play. So, um, it's it's really cool to see you guys shooting the shit, talking about uh, you know, your past, man. The brotherhood outside of football. That's what's most important. Like you guys talking about that. It's always great hearing the, the Al Davis stories and. And all the other good stuff, but the brotherhood of what you, what you guys have is just fire, man. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Well, let, Doug, I, I think you can agree with me. And I, I one thing I've been trying to do with the Raider Nation is 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 one trying to educate them on the X's and O's of football a little bit. And two, we're professionals, right? I mean, those guys on the field are professionals. Yeah. And as a fan, they should hold their players accountable, right? If you're sure. fucking up, it's okay to call them out. Yeah. yeah. Don't, call, don't call somebody out just because you don't like the guy. But, again, if our field goal kicker is missing field goals that are shorter than a fucking extra point, call them out on that shit. If our quarterback yeah. is 30 out of 33 in the red zone, call them out on that. There's You're not attacking them as a fucking – that's their profession. And if they're not doing what the organization has paid them to do, it is okay because all you're doing is just stating the facts. Yeah, but you know, most people don't most people don't like that no more. They don't like when you state facts. Um, I just think they, they want to be just like even even in high school, uh little league, college, they want to be pampered. Yeah. They want to be pampered. So it's always Hey, I know I messed up, but let's cradle this guy because yeah. you know, listen, we always had that thing we call tough love. Like I'll be honest with you, Freddie B had tough love. Freddie will get on you and cuss you dog out. Yeah, you know I mean? and the thing is, he'll sit and tell you after he's done cussing you out. Hey, listen, you know I love you, but no, you cannot fuck up like that. Yeah, but Doug. He didn't do it all the time, but when he did it, you knew it was legit. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, you know, hey, it, was, it wasn't a quote-unquote, as they say, oh, it's, it's bullying. No, 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 no. That was, I think, that was him saying, that's their whole thing. They believe in you. They know what you can do, but you know you messing up. So come on. Yeah. Stop doing this here and go do what we know you can do. Hey, hey Doug, let me ask you something real quick, brother. Hey, so – you know, you guys came up. There was no social media, right? No, so, no. you know, so I, I I have a show just like Stu does, and it's it's a pretty popular you know show within the, within the nation. So yeah. we, I have players all the time, right? Players will follow me, then unfollow me, uh, because you know I I speak the truth about it. I'm it's about the shield first, point yeah. blank period. The end. If you're good, I'm gonna give you your roses. If you're not, I'm gonna take them shits back, and we're gonna talk about. It. You know what I'm saying? Um, how do you think your teammates would have? Because oh, it was tougher back then, but it was tougher that's back a, then. You know? That's a good question. Like, how, how would you guys handle social media, Instagram, and, and YouTube, and all that shit back then? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Man, listen, it will be a lot of people with with the way it is now. It would be a whole lot of people getting losing their jobs. Yeah. Because one thing about it, we you know. I felt like we could take, you know, constructive criticism compared to they doing now. Like we would take it and we would use that to feed on that to become better. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it would, yeah. we would step our game up compared to now. They 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 just go into that whole shell and then this and that. I think it would have been it would have been a good conversation. <laughs> it would have yeah. been a great conversation. But I just think a lot of that social media stuff. Back when we was playing, a lot, a lot of people have been losing their job. 
How do you think Al would have handled all that? Because I, I like because at the end of the day, you guys are still young with money in the National Football League, right? So I mean, there still has to be some type of. First of all, you know, first of all, Al ain't finna be on social media, God rest so Al ain't gonna be on social media. No, no, no. no. I, I mean, hey, how would you guys handle? But how do you think Al would handle it with like you guys? Mo- like monitoring, like what we're doing. Oh, monitoring. First of all, it seemed like Al already had his whole social media. He knew everything went on. Yeah. 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 It was nothing hiding, hidden from him. So <laughs> he would have handled it like he did back then. I'm being honest with you because he knew everything. If nothing you can do, you could not you could not fart and Al didn't know it. <laughs> and I'm being honest with you. And we love him for it because that's how we, you know, as the owner, quote unquote, or the head of the house what should do. He should know everything. And Al knew yeah. everything. And he knew everything, and that's the whole thing. That's why I think the stuff he knew, he was just like he knew it. That's why I think he would have been okay, right? Well, well Doug. So Doug, in, in 2000, 2007, going into yeah, two no two thousand seven, yeah, when we before we drafted Jamarcus Russell, you know, I was a as that Doug knows, Doug Doug was. A, a guy with the media, so the media. I mean, when you're a guy that talks to the media, the media is gonna yeah come yeah right? Gra- grab it to you yeah yeah. So I I just remember the whole time I'm talking about the draft coming up, and I'm like, man, we need to get Megatron and then get a quarterback through free agency, and like I kept saying that stuff, At, dude. I don't remember <laughs> who it was, but someone, someone, it was Mark Bedane or fucking I, I can't remember who the fuck it was, but. They came down and they're like, yo, Stu, uh, Al, Al wants you to know to stop fucking talking about drafting uh, Calvin Johnson because we're not fucking doing it. Stop talking about it. He doesn't like that shit. And I'm like. Hey, wasn't Mike Silver a big part of the Jamarcus Russell pickup? Who was it? Uh, what's his name? Uh, was it Mike Silver? Uh, was it? I think it's Mike Silver, right? He's, he's in the media now. I think he works for CBS or something. He kills the Raiders now every chance he gets. Uh, I, got, Lombardi, I, got, I got Lombardi. What was Lombardi, Doug? Remember Lombardi, Mike Lombardi. That's it. That's what I think uh, it's Mike Lombardi. He was a GA, wasn't it? I mean, he was um general. Um, he was yeah. He was, uh, he was a GM. He was that's a GM. what it is. Mike, Mike Lombardi. Lombardi. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. A GM. He took over after uh Bruce Allen left. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he took over after Bruce Allen left. Well, he 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 kills us all the time now in the media, like. He just said that, like, basically, uh, uh, Mike Mayock just messed up a whole draft, and everybody started killing him. Like, bro, you drafted Jamarcus Russell. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, what are you what are you about, bro? Like, I, don't, I don't. Well, hold on, though. I I don't know. If, I have a good idea who drafted Jamarcus Russell. Doug, do you? I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not speaking on that because I don't know. <laughs> oh man. I'm not speaking okay. on that. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, when it come down to when you're looking at tape and you're looking at presence and you're looking at the whole body of work. Yeah. At that time, he, he, he was the, the best choice out there mm-hmm. until, you know, until he got well, in the facility. Well, well, Doug, here's what I say. It's not his fault. They <laughs> No, it's, it's not. Not, it's not Jamarcus Russell's fault. No, like he, I love, I love Jamarcus Russell. I do, and these guys always fuck with me. I, yeah. I love Jamarcus. That's why I had my son wearing that Jamarcus Russell jersey. My you're right, you. yeah. yeah. But hey, let me let me ask you this: Were you there in Sacramento, Doug? I remember you were with the Mountain Lions. Were you there with uh, Dante Culpepper? You were there with them. Okay. Yep. Because that's when, for some reason. I was thinking about retiring, and the Raiders brought me back, but I was out for a year, and they wanted me to do – they wanted me to, to get some game up on my belt so I can get my legs up on me. Okay. That's when, they, they, that's when – because it was crazy, when they told me about it, I was with the Florida Tuskers. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. And because the Raiders had my contract, had the rights to my contract – they want me to be out there so they can see me practice. And you, was Dominic Rose down there with you? Yep. Yep. And yep. Brooks, the, the, Brooks the, Bollinger the, was a Brooks Bollinger, um, the quarterback. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, well, you, you were with the, Red, the Redwoods that year too, right? It was it was like you you went from it Florida was, to it was, no, it was Florida Tuskers, and this crazy part, I was a it, in that in that league, I was the first person traded. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I was the first person traded, and I got sent from Ola, from Orlando uh, Tuskers to Florida Tuskers to uh, California Redwoods. Yeah, where was that at? Where's that? San Francisco. N- that's crazy. No, we literally was ready, in... right? Ready? No, no. This is crazy. Or what? We was in Arizona. The the really? The yeah, what? we was in Arizona. It was two teams in Arizona. So it was us because the team was in Florida was uh, Florida Tuskers in the New York team. Didn't 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 uh, Gruden's brother coach the Tuskers? Yes, yeah, he was the offensive coordinator. Yeah. Jay, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. And it, it was it was the other two teams, California Redwoods, and I forgot the other team. I can't remember. And we was out in um in uh, Arizona. Well, that, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, right? because that's the first time I fucking seen road runners. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're they're fucking dope, dude. They're little and they fucking. Oh, just, yeah, just, that's the first yeah. time I've ever seen road runners. Cool as shit. No, they're cool as shit. Were you fucking? You were like, you had to be like high desert or something area there, right? It was hot as hell. It was yeah. nothing out there. Mm-hmm. You, if you go outside, it was so goddamn hot. And I'm from <laughs> Florida. Yeah, yeah. So we was literally in the desert. And it was like, oh man, you can go right to Mexico right here. I'm like, what? That's- Doug, I actually know what, I had a question for you. So when you think of football states, I think of Florida, Texas. Yeah, hey, look. Yeah, he damn cool could. Marcus Russell, I could throw a football over a mountain. <laughs> Boy, listen, his his freaking cannon, listen, one thing about it. You cannot take from him is his arm. Yeah. Too much air, though. Too much air. Listen, much air. he would literally get on the knee and throw like 70, 80 yards like it was nothing. Yeah. But too much air, though. Dude. But that, no, first of all, that, that ball was traveling, brother. Was it? Yes. And do not let him stand up and take a step. <laughs> hey, hey, since you went to UCF, have you ever connected with a – but any other guys? Like I know, you know, we, we drafted a running back in the sixth round, Latavius Murray. Have, have you ever hey. had a conversation with Latavius? Yeah, we talked all the time. We talked when he got there. Okay, okay. We talked when he got there, and, and like I was saying, I go see Ron. I went to go see Ron Curry in New Orleans, and Tatum one gave got us tickets. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, that's well, dope. Wait, hold on, hold, hold, wait, hold on. So let me go back to to what I was saying about the football states. So when I think of football states. I think of Florida, Texas, California, Michigan, and Ohio. Okay. Uh huh. What makes Florida such a great football state? No, you see, if you down here, you can't say that, Stu, because right now, Georgia be getting on you. <laughs> Georgia be getting oh. on you right now. Georgia got a great old lineman. A lot of no. Old- I'm, I'm serious, Stu. I'm serious because remember, they used to oh, have they used to. They used to have Florida, Georgia. They used to have Cali versus Texas. Yeah. And then they used to say out of them four states, everybody else had to fall in. I'm dead serious. Yeah, Georgia, Georgia got some Georgia got some guys, boy. On the trench in the trenches, though. A lot of guys on the defensive yeah. line and the offensive line. Like Georgia and some, and some corners too. Who? Yeah, because who? You, you can't miss like uh who you said? You said North Carolina. I can name a bunch of motherfuckers from Michigan and Ohio. You're from Michigan, bro. You go always you're from that area. Well, everybody dude. knows though. Hey, hey still let's, let's let's go to where I'm from real quick. All right. Let's let's do this. Aaron Rodgers, John Elway. <laughs> right? Right, right? Let's John just, Elway's a fucking bust. Tom, Tom Brady. I hate him, but Tom Brady. Right. Well, can't, yeah, okay. All right. I mean, we can we can just keep going down all the goats of quarterback or the quarterback position, you know, off of Northern hey, California. Here you go. You're like this, Jerome Bettis. Your boy. Hey, I'm a Notre Dame guy. <laughs> I'm a Notre Dame guy. <laughs> oh god. No, no, honestly, no, uh, Doug, though. What what makes Florida such a great uh pool for football talent? 
Is it the all year round shit or is it what? You know what? All year round, but I just think the fact that like every state, like we know, you know, not to get off, but you think about like, if you think about basketball, you think like New York. This is something they do. Definitely. You know what I mean? It, this is something, this is something we do. And it's like on a daily. The, the, like whole, year, if, the whole year, right? The whole man, year. If, you, if, if you see a football, it's a game finna happen. Yeah. You know, but not only you guys, that. Do you guys just, play multiple sports down there? Or is it just 